I have a question for you. Do you or other people you watch on this app get views for controversy or for anointing? Because many can get views for controversy. There's even been a couple posts that I put on here that are controversial that the Holy Spirit wants me to upload and they do tend to, you know, get a few people to be like, oh, I don't think so, or oh, I think so, or whatever. But I want you to pay attention. Who, who is getting views because of controversy versus who is getting views for an anointing or the gifting that Jesus is placing on their life? Because anybody can get views with controversy, but it's the anointing of Jesus, of the Holy Spirit resting on someone that if you want to follow Jesus, you follow those people. Because I don't want to, I don't want to follow anybody if they're just, if they're just getting their views off of controversy. If the Lord is putting them in controversial positions to be a light there, then that'll be evident and the Holy Spirit will be resting on them in that way. Because honestly, he does that to me sometimes, so I get it. But if the main content of somebody or even yourself is just like controversial things and in causing debates... Is that really what you want? Is Jesus calling you to that? I'm not saying he isn't. I'm just asking you. Because you'll know if the Lord's like, hey, you know, there are some things I want you to talk about. But if it's constant controversy, I don't know. Just be careful with that. I'm not saying that's not Jesus, but just be careful. So I want to just ask you, are the people you're following, are you yourself, are you working out of authority and out of anointing or just out of a controversial position it's a fair it's a fair thing to ask in this day and the holy spirit just plopped that on my heart and i was like that's such a like it's simple but so profound and that's the holy spirit for you